Hey guys, what's up? So sorry about the mess in the background. I am literally leaving to New Zealand tomorrow. So everything's everywhere because I'm packing and I'm cleaning and I'm just getting ready. It's a little bit stressful. I'm also kind of breaking out and I think it's because I'm a little bit stressed, but everything's gonna be okay and I'm really excited and everything's great. But I realized that I needed to make a favorites video for this month because I don't know how it'll be filming and once I get to New Zealand it's going to be February so I wanted to do it now and I haven't been posting a lot of videos this month because I've had so much technological issues and just a lot of problems with that. So anyways, I have a really small favorites video for you guys today with just some of the things that I've been loving this month that I wanted to share with you guys. So that's what we're gonna talk about today and I'm gonna show you guys all the things I've been loving. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is these earrings. Uh, I have been wearing them like literally every day and I'm quite obsessed. I used to hate dangly earrings, but now I love them a lot and I think they're really cute. And they're definitely like 60s, 70s. I got them for like three bucks and they I can get them in like total like a bunch of different colors but I've really been liking yellow and orange lately so I decided to get these and I have a couple other pairs that are like a little bit similar but anyways definitely been uh, loving these okay the next thing that I've been literally obsessed with like to the point where is it even healthy I don't know someone help me <laughs> is tea I have been drinking tea like three times a day mostly because it's been really cold this month but also because I love tea and okay actually I'm pretty sure in a previous video I've said that I didn't like tea and that's because the tea that I was having wasn't good but I finally found good tea that I actually like so I'm gonna share those with you so I actually have three different flavors and they're all from Trader Joe's if you don't have a Trader Joe's you can probably find like similar types of tea like they're not really that like crazy of a flavor uh, so the first one is this spiced chai and I mean you can get chai tea anywhere but I really like this one and uh, this one and I don't know I just I've been drinking this all the time. I just kind of like switch the teas uh, here and there, depending on what I want at that moment. Okay, this is also so good. This is organic Moroccan mint green tea, and I had actually never had green tea before this, and I always thought it was gross, even though I've never had it because I'm weird. But yeah, so I'm like literally obsessed with this. It's so good. It has like a little sweetness to it, but the mint and the green tea together is just so good. Like, ugh, this is just bless. Okay, and then the last one is this organic ginger turmeric uh, herbal tea. And this one's also caffeine free, so if you don't want caffeine, then this is a good one for you. And I'm obsessed. At first I was like a little bit hesitant because I don't really like ginger unless it's like juiced in a juice but this is so good and it's also really sweet like it has a sweet after kind of like aftertaste but it's like you can tell it's very herbally and it's not like the turmeric and the ginger aren't overpowering that's why i was a little skeptical because both of those flavors are like very strong but they're not at all like this is a very subtle tea but it's super super good and i'm really really obsessed <laughs> okay so on the uh, category of food slash beverages, uh, this month has been a month of firsts for me in the food and drink department. Actually, in a lot of things, I think. But um, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you. So I actually had sushi for the first time in my life this month and it was just at a sushi place down the street from my house that I'd never been to. It's also a Thai restaurant. And I was really craving some yellow curry. So I decided to get yellow curry. I also checked out their sushi menu and they happened to have a completely vegan vegetable roll. It wasn't an avocado roll. It had a lot of things in it and it was so good. Like I was craving sushi for like three days afterwards. Like even right now, sushi sounds so good. And the best part was that the vegetable roll was the cheapest. So if you go to like a normal sushi restaurant, I'm pretty sure the vegetable rolls are usually the cheapest as are most vegetable dishes. But it was so good and I'm really glad I tried it because I used to always hate seafood and I was very skeptical. But I'm really happy I tried it and I really loved it. So along with uh, Thai cuisine or Asian cuisine, I also tried Thai iced tea for the first time this month. I went to an all vegan Thai restaurant and they had Thai iced tea and I had it and I love it so much. It's so good. It's so sweet and delicious and I highly recommend it. I drank it in like two sips. It was really sad. So a book that I've been reading this month that I've absolutely in love with is called The Doors of Perception by Aldous Huxley. Uh, Aldous Huxley is the author of Brave New World. That's like 
probably his more popular work, but Doors of Perception and also Heaven and Hell, they're like combined in the same book that I got at the library. I haven't even finished it yet because I um, let I borrowed it from the library, but I'm leaving so I couldn't take it with me on my trip, so I haven't finished the book yet, but I'm already obsessed with it. I've always loved Aldous Huxley and um, he's a very uh, smart and intelligent man and it has a little bit to do with like psychedelics, consciousness, um, if you're interested in those types of things, but I highly recommend it. It's very intriguing. Shameless. Like, have you seen Shameless? Because if you haven't, I honestly don't even know what you're doing with your life. Like, what, like, I mean, what am I doing with my life? Like, watching Netflix every day, but like, watch Shameless. Like, it's so good. And I haven't even seen like the last two seasons or whatever they have, um, because they're not on Netflix yet. So I'm really excited. Don't tell me what happens, please. Shameless is so good. Okay, another thing, you guys have probably noticed, I know a lot of you have been pointing it out or talking about it, but, um, glitter. I'm not wearing a lot, oh my god, when you, like, don't know how to, like, literally put makeup on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, but, like, I'm only wearing a little bit of glitter, but I've been wearing a lot of glitter lately, and it's just fun, you know, because I don't really wear makeup a lot, so it's fun to just put weird stuff on my face. I've had a lot of compliments and only have had positive uh, remarks about it. Just to make sure you don't get it too close to your eye or like get the glitter in your eye and um, that's kind of all the tips I have for you. Oh yeah, and how to make it stick. I would usually just take like some chapstick or like um, chapstick alternative or even if you put like a highlighter or something that's like, um, like a stick, like something that's just like a little bit sticky. It doesn't have to be a lot. Um, and the glitter will stick. So a lot of people have been asking me that. Also, people have been asking me, like, what brand of glitter, like, what type of glitter, like, like, I don't know what that means, like, literally just from the craft store, like, I don't know. Okay, and also, if you are from California, well, more particularly Southern California, you probably noticed a lot of rain, and we're actually coming out of the drought, finally. So happy. Everything is so green. So the rain is definitely something I've been enjoying this month because we haven't had a lot of that in a while and it was just very nice to have, you know, just a storm and everything in my backyard is growing, everything's green, all the lakes and rivers and water is growing. <laughs> everything's good. We're good. Okay, also two games that I have played this month for the first time that are really fun and I want to share with you. One is called Spoons. I don't really have time to like explain like the entire rules of the game so you can like easily look it up. But Spoons is super fun. I highly recommend playing that. I'm obsessed. Maybe you don't like it. I don't know. For some reason I really like it. And then also the game Cards Against Humanity. It's very vulgar and raunchy if you're into that. I am. So shout out to you. But yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's super, super fun just like with your friends. Like it'll make you laugh. Like it's really great. I love that so much. When your camera runs out of room. Okay. Um, next. I think that's pretty much it, except for one more thing that I can remember. Oh, actually, no, two more things. Okay, so another thing is, uh, candles. I've been loving candles lately. Usually I would burn incense, and I still love incense a lot, but it's just kind of, you know, since it's winter right now here, and it's been cold and rainy, candles have really been inspiring me and making my room cozy since my room is really cold. I actually have a candle burning right now. My friend got this for me, Christmas. I actually have three candles burning right now because why wouldn't I? So yeah, candles are super cool. And another thing is I saw the movie called Split this month and I really enjoyed it. If you like psychological thrillers, not necessarily like horror movies or like scary movies, but more like a thriller that has a lot to do with like psychology, I think you would probably really like it. And it's also pretty realistic. I mean, it gets a little bit, a little bit unrealistic towards the end, but for the most part, it sticks to like a pretty realistic um, setting and plot and context and everything. And I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. And uh, James Mc 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 McAvoy, McAvoy, <laughs> I think that's his name. Is it James? I actually have no idea. But the actor, the main actor in the movie Split, is so amazing. He does an incredible job and. I really enjoyed that movie and I highly recommend you go see it and check it out. So that is all for today. I have no idea when this video is going to get uploaded. I'm going to try to get as many videos as I can can uploaded in like before I leave because it's just I have no idea. Um, I want to clear space on my camera and everything. I want to get them up before I go. But I probably won't see you guys again. This is the last video I'm filming but like as I said I don't know 
when it's going to get put up because I have a lot of other videos I have to upload too. But as of now, the next time you guys will see me, I will be in New Zealand and it'll be February. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited to show you guys what I'm going to do in my adventures. And um, yeah, that was like, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Like, why aren't you if you're not?